So you may well ask, why can you apply Bernoulli's equation across streamlines when the curl of the velocity is equal to zero? Um, I'm going to give now a slightly hand-wavy physical argument for this um, by considering, uh, let's consider a sort of balloon, uh, just so something with um, a bit of tension in it, it could be somebody's lungs, such that inside here we have a stagnation pressure P01, which is bigger than the stagnation pressure outside, which is P02. And I'm going to imagine uh, two streamlines. One comes from this stagnation pressure, P01, and the other comes from this stagnation pressure, P02. And let's imagine they end up being parallel. What I'm going to do now is consider this part of the flow here. I'm going to blow this up and consider these two parallel streamlines. Now, if they're parallel, it means that there's no um, acceleration and therefore no pressure gradient uh, across the streamline. So grad P uh, in that direction is equal to zero, and if they've hit uniform um, speed, uniform velocity, grad P will be zero everywhere. Um, so what we have basically is P1 on the top streamline is equal to P2 on the bottom stream streamline. Um, but we know, uh, using Bernoulli, so assuming that it's inviscid flow, uh, we know that um, P1 is equal to P01 minus a half rho V1 squared, that's the velocity uh, or the speed squared on the top streamline, and that P2 is equal to P02 minus a half rho V2 squared, where that's the speed on the bottom streamline. And so we see that because these two are equal to each other, uh, if there's a difference between P01 and P02, then there must be a difference between V1 and V2. So now let's consider a little bit of fluid here. Uh, we've got V1 on the top and V2 on the bottom. If P01 is bigger than P02, uh, then the speed at the top of this little element of fluid is big and the speed at the bottom is small. Uh, and that means that this bit of fluid must be rotating. So we can add in that if P01 is not equal to P02, then V1 is not equal to V2, and the fluid has vorticity. So what we get is that um, Vorticity implies that there is a stagnation pressure difference between the streamlines. Uh, conversely, the other thing it implies is that the other thing it implies is that if P01 is equal to P02, then V1 is equal to V2, and the fluid has no vorticity. So what we've shown here is that for straight streamlines up here. Um, no vorticity means that every streamline has the same stagnation pressure, and therefore you can apply Bernoulli across streamlines. Um, I only showed this, therefore, for straight streamlines. Uh, in order to do it for non-straight streamlines, um, it's much better to use the mathematical argument, uh, but um, I do in a separate clip.